Hi folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And this is Two Guys in a Ride. Today we're going to take a look at this 2019 Toyota RAV4. This is the limited trim edition. We're going to talk to you about the styling, the specs, the horsepower, uh, talk about the wheel and tire combination, how much it will tow, and then Nathan later will take you for a tour of the inside and show you all the technology that's built into this car. And then finally we're going to take it out on the road and give you our impressions and uh, just our feedback on what we think of this vehicle. And at the end we'll wrap it up with our most favorite thing about the vehicle. So come on, let's take a ride! On the front of the car you see the multi-LED headlights and LED daytime running lights with the integrated fog lights. But one of the nice details that I do like are the parking sensors. Uh, you can see them on the bumper but you can't really see them how nicely integrated they are into the grill. I'll give you a close-up shot of that. It's just the attention to detail that I really like and it's a nice way of camouflaging this uh, item that uh, is greatly needed and very useful, but uh, Toyota nicely hides it inside the grill. Okay, on the Toyota to lock and unlock the doors, you know, Toyota has a sensor on the outside of the door handle, and with the key in your hand, all you have to do is approach the car, push the uh, little ridges, and Toyota does have a sensor, and that will unlock the door. You, know, you put your finger on the little ridges, and that will lock the door. These have got to be some of the most beautiful wheels that I've seen on a production vehicle. Uh, they've got a nice satiny sheen to them. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them and, um, you know, just fantastic on this vehicle. And on the RAV4, you're talking uh, 17 to 19 inch wheels. You see the turn signal indicator uh, in the rear view mirror, in, or excuse me, the outside rear view mirrors. Uh, this particular model is the Limited, and it does have the sunroof. I like the nice black rails. Love the little detail here of the uh, floating roof design. A lot of the manufacturers are going to that. I think Toyota does an excellent job in pulling that design feature uh, and tying it in. you got just enough chrome and just enough black. I love the cut lines on the side of this vehicle. gives it a sense of uh, masculinity, but it also gives it a sense of motion. And you see the uh, fender flare flares as well. Yep, there's the cut lines. Nicely done, nicely executed. On the back side, I like the tail lights. Um, they do remind me of some of the other manufacturers, but uh, you know, it's a it's a nice take. Uh, you see the dual exhaust. Now there are LED tail lights and stop lights. However, the uh, indicator lights are uh, incandescent. Very nice looking vehicle, uh, very well done with the uh, creases, the lines. There aren't many angles of this vehicle that are not attractive. I think it's uh, much more masculine and is, if you will, more, more butch looking than it had been in the past. That was a criticism of the past models. They um, had become more feminine looking and I know a lot of people use that terminology with vehicles. Um, but, you know, I think Toyota's done an excellent job on the design of the new RAV4. There are five trim levels, the LE, XLE, XLE Premium, Adventure, and Limited. This is the Limited, as I said before. And price ranges uh, from $25,500 to $33,500 as the starting MSRPs for each trim level. They are all powered by an 8-speed transmission. Fuel economy is 26 city. 35 highway and 30 combined. It's got a 14 and a half gallon uh, fuel tank. Like how the roof spoiler is nicely integrated. You see the third stoplight up there. Uh, right above the license plate, of course, there is the multi-angle rear view camera. There are three drive modes, the Sport, 
echo, and normal. Smart key system on the front doors and lift gate with push button start, remote keyless entry with lock, unlock, panic, and power lift gate with jam protection functions and remote eliminated entry. This does have independent McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. 8.4 to 8.6 inches of ground clearance and 19 and 21 degree approach and departure angles because uh, Toyota really uh, is stepping up their game here and they want you to take this vehicle off-road. Uh, off this vehicle does sit on the new Toyota Global Architecture uh, TNGA uh, platform. Longer, wider stance, it's uh, more responsive handling and stronger core equals a more smooth and confident ride. There is dynamic Vector, torque vectoring, all-wheel drive that improves stability by sending up to 50% of the power to the rear wheels. And multi-terrain select on all-wheel all, all -wheel drives uh, with mud and sand, rock and dirt and snow. This is the fifth generation RAV4. This was the first compact crossover SUV. Toyota did pioneer this market segment. Uh, and Toyota does describe the new 2019 RAV4 in two words, capable performance. And I have to agree, you know, with the new RAV4, roughing it never looked so good. Let's take a look inside the vehicle. Now, cargo volume is 69.8 cubic feet behind the front seats and 37.5 cubic feet behind the second row. And, of course, you did see the uh, available power liftgate. Now, standard RAV models can tow 1,500 pounds, and the Adventure model can tow 3,500 pounds. Lots of capacity back here. Like I said, with the seats up, you're looking at uh, 37 and a half cubic feet right there. This one does have the um, utility mat, and it also has the um, cover, cargo cover. All RAV4s are uh, powered by a 2.5 liter inline 16 valve 4 cylinder engine uh, with an 8 speed transmission. This engine is good for 203 horsepower and 184 foot pound of torque. And as I said earlier, up to 35 miles to the gallon on the highway, 30 combined. Okay, so that's the review of the outside of the 2019 Toyota RAV4. And now I'm going to hand it off to Nathan to take you on a tour of all the technology, the fit, the finish, and the comfort of the inside of the vehicle. Nathan, take it away. All right, come on inside. Let's take a look. Look out on the inside of the 2019 Toyota RAV4. And this happens to be the limited edition. Uh, we'll take a look. Starting just the driver's seats here. We got eight-way power with old two-position lumbar. The lumbar is a lower lumbar that starts, bulges out right here and then recesses when, uh, with the buttons. On the passenger side, we have manual controls. We have a manual recline right here and a manual forward and backwards right there. Starting on the passenger's door, since I'm on this side anyways, we do have a bottle holder right there and a little bit of storage and your standard uh, up and down for the windows and lock buttons. Very nice trim. I like the, uh, it's almost like a satin silver color. I love the, the particular color combination on this particular trim. It's very, very nice. On the driver's side door, we have got two position memory and your standard lock unlock buttons with the windows. Now, all four windows on every model of the Toyota RAV4 uh, come with auto up and down feature and uh, jam safety. So you cannot uh, get your finger stuck in the window. And trust me, it works. I tried it out. I still have all my digits, so I'm doing good. Well, you have your dimming switches for the dashboard, your automatic high beam on or off, your rain sensing windshield wiper on or off, and your heated steering wheel and a trunk open button. Your fuel filler cap release is here and the front engine hood release is here. I really like this big footwell or this big foot rest for your left foot while you're driving. Taking a look over here, it's just some of the dashboard. You do have a little storage area right in here. And it's got it like a very easy to clean surface right there. 
Um, we've got, I, I like the dark, light, dark, and then the, the cup hole, or the, the the little storage pockets are, are more of a reddish color. I don't know if that's picking up in the video, but it looks really nice. All right. Over here on the passenger side, we do have another storage area right up in here. In addition to the glove compartment. Again, I really like the way Toyota has laid this out with this uh, sort of a satin satin silver, satin chrome finish, the dark and the light. Um, and then again, the dark with a little bit of a reddish color in here. It, it just looks really nice. Here's a quick look at the dashboard. You've got an analog to tack and then fuel and engine temperature, and then a digital display for the speedometer and the uh, multi-information display in the middle, which we'll get to in a little bit. You've got a nice seven inch screen in the middle here with physical control buttons. Your dual zone climate control. Heated and cooled front seats both driver and passenger you got another nice little storage tray down here along with a usb and a 3.5 millimeter input jack and a 12 volt 120 watt outlet now moving back a little bit you've got your all of your basic driver controls i must admit i do like the physical shift knob you got dual cup holders here, your armrest. You just have a button that's right underneath here and you push it and this opens up. You do have a removable tray, some nice storage area, and then you have two additional charging USBs down here. So a total of three USBs in the front. All right, stepping into the back of the Toyota RAV4, uh, first thing I notice is the heated second row seats. Very nice. We've also got a bottle holder down here. Uh, you do have a center armrest that has two cup holders. The RAV4 comes with a total of eight uh, beverage holders. There's four cup holders and four bottle holders. Bottle holders are in the door and the cup holders are in the console. So here's the cup holders. Serves as an armrest. Will fold up easily. You've got nice soft tech seats. You do have a map pocket behind the passenger seat, not behind the drivers. And then in the center, you have your air controls here. So you have uh, on and off and then you can change the directions as well as two e more USB uh, chargers. The 2019 Toyota RAV4 comes standard with Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 which includes pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, full speed range dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, automatic high beams, road sign assist, along with the star safety system which includes vehicle stability control, traction control, anti-lock brakes, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, and smart stop technology. Eight airbags. Um, basically, if you take a look at the steering wheel, and right side and left side here, we're gonna start with these control buttons because these take you through the basic menu. So if you look at the dashboard, as I press the left, or I can press the right arrow, but I'm gonna press uh, the right arrow, Pressing the right arrow, I go through and you can see the bottom, music, settings, driver info, settings, and messages for like from the vehicle, fuel economy. So once you get on one of these, if I click on OK in the middle here, then if there's another setting that I can manipulate, I can then do that. The up and down arrows will take you through any sub menus contained in that particular menu. So again, left, left, right arrows to scroll through the different options. When I get to where I wanna go, let's start here. I press okay. And then 
I can press the up and down uh, arrows to scroll through any other windows that are available. Okay, then I just go back to my right left arrows, go to the next one, and I just have like a compass setting here, and then my lane keeping right here. Press my arrow again, I get music. In the music setting, when you get here, you do need to, instead of pressing the arrows, you're just gonna press the OK button for different sources, but Toyota is very good about telling you uh, what you need to press right on the dashboard. So here you can see I can go through AM, FM, Sirius Satellite, okay? And then to go back, I just simply wait or I press this back button. And here I am. Oh, so, there's a lot of stuff in here. But this is all controlled from here. And the back button. A blind spot monitor and integrated backup camera. All right, so how do we access all these safety features and what can we turn on or off or what kind of settings does each one of these have? So up here is where you can manipulate all of the different settings. Okay, you scroll, use the up and down arrows to scroll through each one. And then if you want to manipulate one, press the OK button. Okay, and it'll either turn it on or off. Okay, and then all you have to do is press the back arrow again. Or wait. And now if I press OK again, it's going to turn this back on. All right? So you can go through and do the same thing for each one. Some of them have more options than others. That was blind spot monitoring, parking assist. Um, there you can see that one came off and there it's back on again. But this is how you access all the safety features and turn them on or off. You can go into vehicle settings uh, this vehicle does come uh, with full-speed dynamic range radar cruise control, which means it'll operate at any speed. So if you're in uh, stop-and-go traffic, it will keep you a certain distance, your preset distance from a car, um, and then it will bring you to a full stop. And it will, uh, when you hit resume, uh, when the car ahead of you takes off, it will take off and follow. This one does have a pedestrian alert as well. Hey, so over here on the right side, you've got uh, your cruise control settings. You've got forward and backward button for your stereo. You also have a mode button. This has to do with your infotainment center, okay? So it shows up. Let me get out of this picture here. So now it'll show up in your dashboard as to what you're watching. And you can switch between the various modes available. So AM, FM, radio, Syrian. Uh, and then Sirius XM Satellite. And that's all done from this mode button. And then you can fast forward and rewind. And volume controls over here. This does have uh, a blue, Bluetooth. Uh, and you can hook in your phone in. And you can do some voice commands. You can also access Siri on your phone. Okay, so taking a look at the infotainment system in the 2019 Toyota RAV4. You've got a very nice 7-inch screen and you have got physical controls on the left and the right which is a really nice feature there's also it's also soft touch so you can use the screen to to manipulate the data um, one of the things that i like about this screen is it is a split screen so for instance uh, if i go to map right now okay and i plugged in a route uh going to mcdonald's and i get a full screen Okay. If I go to the audio button, okay, again, I have full screen. If I go to home, I get a split screen. So now I can see both things. I like the fact that you can see everything in the split screen view. Um, you have a seat forward and backwards. You have a phone, a separate phone button to uh, work with your phone. And then you can take a look at the various apps that come with the Entune suite. Okay, with the Entune 3.0 system in the Toyota RAV4, it does have Apple CarPlay. So if you just take your phone and plug in your uh, lightning cord, 
right here. Plugs down here into the multimedia USB port, uh, which does also charge your iP or your phone at the same time. Then you can enable CarPlay up here, and you get these apps that will that it's actually running through your phone's cellular service, but you're able to control it from up here. So I've got all my music. I've got Apple Maps, messages, my phone. Um, if I go over here. I also could use Google Maps. Now, I, I tried uh, downloading a, just a different GPS to see if it would work, and sure enough, it does. Uh, tune in. So these apps now run directly on the uh, truck's sound system and screen, but they're coming from my phone. And then your phone can just sit down here. And then you'll be able to control some of those features from your uh, steering wheel as well. One of the things that you can do um, is that's really, I think, really neat is you can access Siri. So um, on the stream of control, I showed you the voice button. Uh, so if I push and hold that, Siri, turn on Google Maps. And there it goes. You get some really cool features with using Siri like that. Um, you can just imagine all the different things you can do with Siri. And now you can do them right with one button from your steering wheel. Moving down, you do have dual climate control in this vehicle. So uh, you have, uh, I can change my temperature over here and it will be different than the passengers. But if I press the sync button, uh, like it's familiar on other Toyotas, now it locks them together. But if the passenger wants something different, then they just have to turn their knob and it changes. Moving down here, you have your typical buttons, front and rear defroster. You do have an uh, eco heat and cool system. And when that's engaged, the vehicle computers will attempt to give you the most economic heating and cooling available. And then here you have your different mode buttons. Down here, we have our traction control button. Uh, I'm, it's interesting that it's placed right next to the heated and cooled seats, but it is a... Uh, very large button it, it comes way out here I don't know if you can kind of see that so and it's just a soft touch it has a little quick feel to it and you do have heated cooled seats and one of the things I like that Toyota's done here is it's used the same set of LEDs for both so if I go to a heated seat they're uh, kind of a well there should be an orange I'm not sure what color they're showing up on my video uh, but if I turn to the cool ones they change color to green and that is on both driver and passenger side. Down here, we have, in the, right below the climate control, we have a nice uh, tray right here. I love the red color that they've used for this. You have got a 12 volt, 120 watt outlet right there, and you have a USB media input right here. So let me focus on, there we go. So you have a 3.5 millimeter jack and a USB now. Um, it's really nice that Toyota threw in that 3.5 millimeter jack to make a straight connection to your phone. Um, especially on older phones that maybe don't have a USB connection. Or if you're using some other device. Moving down here, you got a nice physical shift knob. I like this shift knob. Um, you have got, of course, your regular gear selectors, but you do have sequentially shift here. If you pull it down into drive, and then you bump the shift lever over it physically moves over and now you've got a plus and minus so as you go through your gears you can see them changing on the left so there's the first gear second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth there we are put it and they just shove it backward and put it into drive you got an electronic parking brake you do have the brake hold feature Again, if this is engaged, if you come to a stop in traffic and you take your foot off the brake, the vehicle will still remain braked until you press the accelerator. You have an eco mode, a normal mode, and a sport mode for driving. Here, you have a control, because this is all with drive, you do have control for mud and sand and rock and dirt. Okay. You also have a physical button here for snow, and then you have hill descent control on this vehicle. 
Up here you've got your light switch. You've got your, uh, you can set the lights to open you know, when the doors open or not, and then just turn both lights on. And so up here you have your open and close for your moonroof, and you have your, um, you can vent it right here. And then you of course have got the Jet Pilot emergency uh, SOS signal, which I love under these, that little cover there. All right, so sitting in the back of the 2019 Toyota RAV4, you're going to notice uh, I have about uh, four inches of leg space. The seat is where I left it when I was in there for uh, looking at the, at the instruments in the front. So plenty of leg room. Very comfortable. The seats are high off the ground or the floor has been lowered, something, but you've got a lot of comfortable room for your feet um, underneath that seat. So it's a very comfortable angle. The, yep, the seats are nice. Uh, they're going to get the soft text cover on them and you have a center armrest with two cup holders down here you have your open and close for your heating and cooling vents as well as changing their direction of the airflow down below you do have the two additional usb charging ports down here which i think is great you also have a mat pocket right in the back here behind the passenger seat. So as a passenger sitting in the back, one of the features you're probably going to enjoy the most in this vehicle is your heated rear seats on both sides. We would like to thank our friends at Heinz Toyota of Mankato for loaning us this beautiful Toyota RAV4 for the review. I mean, yeah. hey, there's Rob back there trying to trying to goof me up, but he's not going to. <laughs>